So in this video, we're going to talk about integrating views and types with Google Maps. And we're going to do that in two different ways. Uh, because our, we have an address field in our custom post type, which in this case is a restaurant, what I want to show you how to do is to put a map of the particular restaurant based on the address in your content template. And the second thing I want to show you how to do is how to create a page with a map that's going to show all of your restaurants or all of your post types that have an address on one map, right? And we want to include that, let's say on our directory, we want to include a map or something along those lines. So those are the two things that I'm going to show you. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into tool set and go into settings. And we want to click on the maps tab. And this is where it's going to ask us to set up a Google map API key. So I'm going to enter in my API key now, and I'm going to link to instructions uh, down below this video on how to set up that Google map API key. It's not something I can do in a video, but I will give you instructions and some links to how you set that up. It's really quite easy. Okay. So I'm going to do that now, enter in my API key, and then we'll move on to the next steps. So now I've entered in my Google Maps API key. You can see it worked because under map styles, it's now loading up a map. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna create a map on our custom post types in our content template. So we're gonna go down to content templates and we're gonna go to our restaurant single page view. And let's say we want our map. Let's see where the most it makes the most sense to put it in. So let's say we'll put it in right below our body content, so right above the phone number. So what we're going to do is here is our body content and we're just going to click enter here and we're going to click on fields and views and we're going to go down to Google Maps and we're going to click map and click insert short code and then right below that we're going to click fields and views and we're going to click on marker. And down here, marker address comes from Google Maps post field restaurant address. And that's gonna, that's saying, so take the address from this post and that's what we're gonna create the map for. And we're gonna click insert short code. So now we have a map and we have a marker to put on our map. And you can see that these fields, these maps and these marker have the same map ID. So if we're gonna have multiple maps on one page, you're gonna wanna make sure to insert multiple map fields with a individual ID. So if I go into here again, click on fields and views and click map, you're gonna see map ID, you see? And now it's map two. So we wanna make sure that we have uh, inserted different maps if we want multiple maps, that they have a different map ID. And when we insert our markers that we're making sure that the marker is set with the same map ID that we want it to show up on. So let's update that for now and just do a hard refresh and now we have our map right below it. And if I hold down scroll control, I can zoom in and we can see that we are looking at 19th Street in Waterfleet, New York, which is right here. And it's actually Bob's Diner, but I've stolen their address for now and we're calling it Dan's Fine Dining. Uh, and so now we've learned how to insert a map basically into our custom post type and it's going to automatically grab that address from our address field. And it really is as easy as that. So now let's talk about how we can create a page uh, which is going to display a map, let's say, on our directory. All right, so let's say that we wanted a map to show at the top of our restaurant directory page or whatever it is, right? So let's go into our restaurant listings. So in our view, we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for our loop editor, right? So not our loop item editor, but our actual loop output editor. So this tag right here is saying show this, all right? So we wanna put it above this, above our WPV loop start, because we want this above where the restaurants are listed. This is where we're gonna insert our map. So we're gonna to go to fields and views, and we're gonna go down to Google Maps, and we're gonna click on map. And then we're going to insert that short code. And then under WPV loop, we're gonna add in our marker because we want one marker for every single restaurant. So we're gonna click on fields and views and we're gonna go down to marker. And again, map two, make sure Google Maps post field restaurant address and insert short code. Let's save that and just do a refresh. And so now you can see we have our map here and this is, if I hover over it, Dan's Fine Dining and this here is Dan's Pizza Shack. 
And what's also cool, so for example, if I go to pizza and I hit submit, my map is gonna update too, right? So if I had multiple results for this, it would show me my thing. So let me just do filter by category, reset. So let's just do a search for Dan's, right? Because both of them apply for that. So if I do submit, you can see that on my map, both locations are showing and we have both of our items and this the level of zoom will depend on how many restaurants and how close they are and stuff like that and we can also manage how this map looks it doesn't have to be that small and such if i just show you i'll add another map here so there's you know there's a lot of different options here for how things look and what the marker icon looks like and how large the map is height is and what the width is so you know, you can mess around with that. You can make it bigger. You know, we're probably gonna be looking for a lot of full screen stuff and I'll show you that more when we get into our front end page builder. But just so you can see, we have our filters here. We have our map. We have our restaurant uh, review listings. And it really is just as simple as that. So uh, you can either add, you can add maps into content templates. You can add maps into, uh, you know, review results even. So we could actually add our map into our loop or sorry, into our, item so if we wanted to have that map show for each item we would put it in here as well map and then marker and it's going to show a map for each item in the loop uh so uh, that's everything you know as far as hooking up our views and types into google maps that's as easy as it is if you run any problems please let me know uh, check out the next couple of videos where i'm going to talk about setting up an area where your users can actually edit the content that they submit no more